guys. Um, today I thought I would give my makeup the gym test. Um, it's really, really hot in Texas, so just walking outside is kind of a test in itself. Um, but I'm going to go to the gym for an hour, and it's been quite some time, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to sweat a little bit. So I thought I would just go ahead and do my makeup really quickly, and then come back and show you the results and how it withstood sweating and running and all of those good things. So the only thing I have on currently is our Glorious Primer, and I put on just um, some of our eye pencil, and I'm wearing Passionate. And I am wearing the silver one, which I just had. Um, what do I do with it? It's silver. There it is. The silver one, which is polished. So I just put a little bit on the outside in purple and a little on the inside in um, the silver. And I did the silver on the inside lining and purple underneath. Because I'm not going to put on any eyeshadow since I'm just going to the gym. So I thought I would just put a little fun colors with our um, pencils. And these are water resistant. So might as well be testing that, right? So I'm going to do that. Um, also, because I'm going to the gym, I'm not going to do my normal color, which is scarlet for my under eyes, because I don't feel like I need to do highlighting and all of that good stuff. I'm just going to do something that's closer to my um, foundation color. So I'm going to be wearing chiffon. It's like one to two shades lighter than um, what I'm wearing in my foundation. And I'm going to do the liquid foundation, because the liquid foundation is not, um, I'm not, not, not oily, but it's not as dewy as the honey um, BB cream, which is the other one that I wear. This is more dry, so I feel like it's going to stand up better. Um, sometimes more dewy finish. I don't want to be dewy and then sweaty. <laughs> so I'd rather just let's start dry. Maybe we'll be better off. So I'm going to go ahead and put on my concealer real quick. And I have to wear concealer. I've always got dark circles in my eyes. They're better than they used to be, but um, it's just something I live with. So I'm just going to put on a little. And I, I mean a little, like not even a full drop. And just dab it under my eyes. So you can see this is definitely not um, like I normally do if I'm doing a full face of makeup. I don't really need highlighting and contouring to the gym. My girls will laugh at me, so. Well, they might not. They might not be surprised at all. <laughs> now that I think about it. I'm like, just whatever. Okay. And I'm going to do a little bit down my nose because my nose is quite red. I um, got a little sun this weekend and I ran out of rose water. Oh my gosh. It's been a struggle. It's on its way. So my nose is red. So I'm just going to do a little bit on my nose. And you can see um, differently than what I normally do where I do a really light Concealer, if you really wanted to just get a concealer that's close to your skin tone and not wear foundation, you could. Because this is pretty darn close to skin tone. So I could probably walk out and just do this. And be fine. So I know some of you guys watch my other videos and you might think that scarlet, that super, super white is kind of scary. But again, I do that because I really like the highlight look. So I'm going to wear my normal color for summer. It's cashmere. Shake it up. I always shake it up, even if it's brand, not brand new, because the minerals settle. That's just life. Gravity. You get this everywhere. So I'm putting a few drops on. Just kind of tapping it all in. Some people put the drops right on their face, but I have a tendency to spill when I do that, and I have spilled on a few pairs of pants, so I just put it right on the dropper, and that's what it's designed for. It's got a little well in the center. That's exactly what that's for, so why not do it? Now, the liquid foundation is medium to full coverage, and the reason it's medium to full is because you can build on it. So if I wanted more coverage than this, I could give it just a couple seconds to dry, because you know it dries to a mat, and then I could go back and add another. So that's actually what I'm going to do. I want a little bit more coverage, and I really want to test how this looks. So let's do a few more drops. I don't normally do this much coverage, but I really want to challenge it today and see how it does. Okay, so get that done. All right. So I have to do something to my brows. I can't just walk around with my brows not being done. But again, I'm just going to the gym, so I don't need to go crazy. So what I do if I am just doing a simple look is I just use the brow gel. Make sure I got the black one. I don't use the pencil and draw them in. I just use the gel because it's just enough to add those little fibers to those areas. Can you see that spot, that area right there? I'm actually turning it on the side to get a little extra product to fill in those spots that are blank. I guess that's the right word. There is probably a better word. So I turn it on the side when I get a lot. So the end of it always gets a little extra, just like a um, mascara one. And then. This is like the fastest thing you can do to do your brows. And then they're not overly done for people go, oh my gosh, why did you do your brows to come to the gym? They just look natural. Of course, after this video airs, everybody will know I do my brows to go to the gym anyway, so I don't know why it matters. Everybody's probably assuming. Okay, so done that, done that. Let's do our mascara. I always have it washed off with me. Mascara. Baba's. Gel, Baba's gel, right? I've got my gel out, and I always sit my gel in warm water, always. Like it just goes on a lot smoother when it's a little warmed up. A little extra, too much on there. Make sure you got a good coat of gel. Gel. That is. The fibers, what, that's what gives you all that length, so I'm gonna do this. A little bit of my nose. It's alright, we'll get the blow right off. No worries. Do a little gel on the backside of it. 
do this one. So the fibers are dry, so you get some of those on your face. They just blow right off. You can do a couple different ways to get rid of them. If you normally I put my foundation on last, but I forgot. So um, you can use some translucent powder to dust them off, so you don't have to mess up your makeup. This is an easy, um, quick run out look too, you know, not every day do you want to do a full face of makeup. Okay. I can't lean over. My hair's on the ground. Sorry. Cool. I also feel like a lighter cover it covers lighter color covers better. But again, I'm just going to the gym. I'm gonna go back and put that last coat of foundation on. I think. And that could just be me. I'm just not used to not wearing. Oh, I got a lot of makeup. I'm putting on the gel, by the way. By the way. I hope I survive going back to the gym. It's been months and months since I've been there. I usually take um, energy and endurance that I get from my beach body. But I'm on this crazy diet after I came to the hospital and I cannot have um, any caffeine. Oh my gosh. No caffeine. I haven't had coffee, tea, nothing carbonated in 15 days. I basically have carbs and green stuff. It's crazy. And chicken. Chicken and fish. Chicken and fish. It's pretty surprising how many drinks have carbonation or caffeine. I'm literally down to water. And I can't have very many juices either, so that limits me a lot. None of the Mio's or any of those things, they all have citric acid in them, so I can't have those. It's crazy. And I got like nine containers of chocolate covered espresso beans for my birthday. I was so excited and I have not the only week any of them. And I have to all, I have, this will last until summer. Crazy. Very long time I have to be on this diet. I'll tell you what, the first time I have caffeine. Can't wait to see how that's gonna go. All right, so how do I do? Do you okay? Let's see. I got a little mascara above my eyes, so let's fix that with a little powder. Just a little loose powder on, I just use my Lux, the Lux brush and kind of just put that right over my eyes where I got that extra mascara. And our mascara is also water resistant, so another good thing to test. A little of that. Okay. I don't know if I need another coat of foundation. Can't decide. So I'm torn between really testing. I'm going to put a little translucent powder underneath my eyes too, just to kind of set that foundation a little bit more. You know, even though our foundation, I'm sorry, conceal a little bit more. Even though our foundation dries to a mat. Um, our concealer does it, so I always feel like it needs a little extra setting. And our loose powder is actually a concealer in itself, so double duty. And you can go with some of these really light ones for highlighters too, if they're really good. Or you can use like Scarlet Pressed Powder as a highlighter. Which is, everything is just so versatile. You can really do whatever you want. I could probably do my makeup ten different times, ten different ways, because there's so many different options. Alright, so that's done, and I am going to wear um, a lip balm one. Let's see, I'm going to wear the coral one. This one is called Chocolate Truffle. It's coral. Now, I don't expect this to last the whole time, but there's no telling, I guess. I will not reapply, just so we can see. All right, so I didn't put on any bronzer or any blush. This is strictly just foundation, primer, um, some eye pencil, concealer, a little powder, and my mascara. That's really all there is to it. So I'm going to throw in a little bit more mascara. A little bit of mascara. I never have too much mascara. So it's got a little color on my eyes without having to do um, any shadows with those fun eyeliners. We have so many different colors of eyeliner. Oh my gosh. They're so super fun. It's really cool to do underneath your eyes. If like you're not sure how to do that color underneath your eyes, you know how people will actually bring a shadow down. If you're nervous about doing that and unsure, just use a colored um, eye pencil and you're getting the same kind of look um, with a pencil so you have a little bit more control. And it feels a little bit more natural because you're probably used to put eyeliner down there. All right, so I'm going to go to the gym. Hopefully I survive and I'm able to come back and show you how it did. So talk to you guys soon. Just finished the warm up and I'm dying proof that I'm here doing this. Bye. See you soon. Okay, so um, I just finished my workout and it has been months, so that was really a struggle. You can see my hair is awesome. Um, my face, so far so good, still on. I'm pretty sweaty and dewy right now, um, but I will take a video when I get back to the house in the same light where I put the makeup on so we can get like a truer picture and then when my sweat kind of dries a little bit, 
and figure out how well it works, but still see some eyeliner, top and bottom, and a foundation for sure. So, yeah, it was rough. <laughs> it was a struggle. I think this is more a video of how Julie might die today rather than how well the makeup lasts. Um, and makeup's doing better than I am. So, we will talk very soon. See you later. Hi, guys. I am back. Um, so, you can see I'm still a little bit dewy from my workout. I do think that everything stayed on okay. The only thing it didn't stay on was the BB, not the BB, the bonbons, which I can actually still feel the bonbons, but they don't look as bright. Um, I had on that coral color, which I think I put in my purse. So, I can still feel them, so my lips are still pretty moist, but the color isn't still there. So, that definitely went. Um, I see a little red coming through on my nose, but all in all, it's pretty good. I think that when I um, stop sweating, it'll probably be okay to go. Um, what I would do at this point, if it were me, is I would just take some of my powder, which I do have. You know, if I was gonna have to leave from here to go to work, luckily I get to work from home, so I don't have to worry about that. And I can just put a little of my pressed powder to kind of absorb some of that dewy look from my sweating and now I would say that is pretty much back to where I started I still have my pretty liner on just love that purple color and of course my mascara is still on so I could just um, toss a little powder on it just I didn't even do my whole face so that's pretty good and then my BB I can't keep saying BB my bonbons and be good to go so um, really other than the fact that my arms and legs feel like complete jello thanks Danielle she that's the 180 that's the 183 hit light version and she still kicks my butt but that's her job so can't can't be mad at her for that so anyway these are my results so take what you want from those if you have any questions about anything just um, send me a message under PM or um, comment below